Hello, I recently came across this pen and let me show you how it works. So you click the generate new percentage and you get a different percentage for this uh, radial progress. Now this thing looked a lot better the first time I saw it. Now it's missing stalling and it's also missing the animation in between uh, two different percentages. And I'm guessing this is because uh, it's using a library so maybe something isn't loading properly. I don't know. I didn't look under the hood because uh, I'm completely incompetent with this kind of stuff. I've seen a lot of people use this library, but I'm completely clueless and I wouldn't know what to look for anyway. But what I will be doing is reproduce this without any SVG, without any libraries, just using native stuff like conic gradients, masking, uh, CSS custom properties, Houdini, stuff like that. So you may know that I've done similar stuff in the past. For example, this uh, output, this donut output for this uh, range input. Uh, I've also written an article explaining in a lot of detail how I did the whole thing. Uh, I've also done this uh, pie chart where I have different values for different uh, years uh, and I generate this uh, chart showing this uh, value as a percentage. Okay, and it's going to be pretty similar today. So I start with a random percentage. This is going to be uh, 100 times random. Uh, and the reason why I'm multiplying with 100 is because random uh, returns something between 0 and 1, and I want something between uh, 0 and 100, and I want a nice round number, so uh, do that as well. Having done this, I create the button. I'll just give it an ID to make it easier to work with it later. So uh, generate new percentage. Something like that. Now I have uh, my progress output. Uh, and here I pass this percentage to the CSS and I do this using a custom property uh, which is the percentage but uh, unitless. Okay, uh, I also add a sort of a description. Um, graphical representation of generated percentage. Okay, something like this. Okay, so having done this, uh, this uh, one more thing. Now let's put uh, this um, progress thing, output, let's put it on the screen. Um, and the way we do it is just uh, give it a height, something like this, sorry, um, and just give it a background so we can see it. Okay, and now we can see it. Um, but uh, we, want, we want it to uh, be a darker shade up to this uh, percentage. Uh, and then a lighter shade. So that's going to be a linear gradient. And since we want to go from left to right, that's going to be 90 degrees for the direction. Uh, we pick a color from uh, this uh, theme right here. So uh, I chose this uh, this color scheme and I just uh, copy pasted the hex codes. So I wouldn't have to do it uh, now because it would take me a lot of time. So just uh, take that uh, theme. Okay, and I go all the way up to that uh, percentage, which is P, and I need to multiply it with 1% because uh, it's uh, unitless, P is unitless. And then I use another color, also from that uh, theme list. Um, okay, so this should do it. Okay, now generating a different one, uh, let's first get the button. Document get element by ID. Okay, and having done this, uh, we do the same for the um, progress output. So, um, like this. Okay, add event listener on click, do stuff. Now, on this uh, output, we set a different percentage. So set property, 
and it's also randomly generated. So I just uh, copy paste this thing from here. Just uh, copy paste it there. So now if I click this button, as you can see, that changes. Something else I can do here is display the value as text. So use an after pseudo element. Um, I can't use a custom property inside the, con the content, but I can use a counter trick. So um, let's do it like this. Content, call the counter function. Um, and yeah, also add percent. So now when I generate a new percentage, that text also changes. Okay, so having done this, just uh, put uh, that uh, after in the middle. So display flex, um, align item center, or justify content center. Okay, so having done this, I want uh, to, first off, let's limit the width of this because it's just too much like this. Uh, it stretches too much. And one other thing, let's give the body a dark background just so that we can see the lighter part better. So that's going to be something like that. Okay, so having done this, uh, what I will be doing Let's make this a bit prettier, give it a border radius there. Um, let's also set a nicer font. Okay. Okay, so having done this, Let's also set the font size here. Font size. Okay, so um, this should do it. And as you can see, I have uh, uh, that right there. Okay, let's increase this as well. Uh, and I want on all elements make margin zero and font inherit. Okay, so having done this, I want to restrict the width of this uh, bar. So um, I'll just uh, do it first off with custom property, 32 ohms, and my width Okay, if it's wider than that, okay, uh, I've increased, so let's make it relative to that. So if it's bigger than that, I'm going to get a horizontal scroll bar, and I don't want that, so I'm going to set a max. Um, actually, I'm going to set a max dimension. Something like this. So my maximum width is okay. So that should uh, work. Let's make it bigger. generate new percentage. Okay, so uh, having done this, let's uh, prettify this a bit more. Um, 
flex direction or uh, column reverse. So, uh, okay, this uh, this does it. Okay, uh, just uh, give uh, this body a height. Something like this. And if I do generate new percentage, okay. Uh, something else I want to set here is margin bottom something like this okay so um, I also don't want uh, to let it get smaller than a certain dimension so I'm just going to set a min dimension as well and let's say going to be something like that. So um, okay, I don't want that uh, right here. Okay. So um, let's make this uh, an actual donut pie thing, uh, and that's going to be only if conic gradients are supported natively. So um, supports. Okay. Background conic gradient red tan. And in case you're wondering why I'm using this, it's because these are the shortest uh, named colors, the only ones that uh, are uh, three letter long. Okay, so uh, what I want here is set that uh, with custom property. Um, set it to something way smaller. Okay. something like that, and set the height equal to the width. So uh, this should do it. And then something else I want to do is border radius 50%. Um, and the background is going to be similar to this one, except it's going to be a conic gradient. So what I want to do is just take these stops from here and replace them with a stop list custom property, which I set right here. And I'm going to be needing to uh, interpolate uh, uh, the colors because uh, I'm setting this to a custom property. So I need to interpolate all SAS inside. Now here, background is going to be conic gradient and I use that stop list. Okay, so this should uh, give me a pie like thing. Okay, now I want to cut the inside part and I'll be doing that with a mask. But if I apply a mask to cut out the inside part on the whole element, it's going to cut uh, the after. So I'll just be setting this um, background, this whole background thing. Set it on a pseudo element, on a before pseudo element. So that's going to be before. Um, position absolute, top zero, right zero, bottom zero, left zero. So this covers the whole thing. Uh, set this uh, stuff uh, and also content sorry nothing so um, I want this relative to its parent so position relative and I want it underneath the after so just uh, set position relative here as well okay so what I want 
inside the uh, supports right here, I want to move this stuff on the before. So before. Okay, so on uh, this uh, should do it. Now I want to animate in between uh, two uh, percentages. Um, and the way that I do this is transition. But this does nothing unless I register this uh, percentage p. So uh, CSS register property name as uh, given before, and I have syntax. Um, yeah. And this is basically the type and the type that I need for uh, the counter thing initial this doesn't really matter much inherits and yeah demo okay now um, by the way inherits wasn't mandatory before but now it is so um, as you can see now it just uh, changes. Okay, so I'll be cutting out uh, the inner part with a mask. Let's uh, just uh, set a thickness. Oh, thickness. And uh, let's say something. Something like this. Uh, I don't know. Something like this. Okay, and then I'll be setting um, a mask. Uh, so for the output radial progress, uh, pa for the yeah progress mask, something like that. Radial gradient. This is going to be transparent. Sorry. Um, thickness. Okay. Um, I'll be using the same calc. except I add one pixel. Okay, so having done this, let's use this mask. On the before pseudo element. So, um, wait, um, Okay, what's wrong? Um, yeah. Okay, so now, as you can see, if I have a different percentage. Okay, um, something else I want to do is, if I have um, this kind of stuff, color, Something like this. Okay, so now whenever I generate a new percentage, it's gonna work out like that. Okay, something else I want to do is our font size. So this should do it. Okay. So now, as you can see, it shrinks, but it only shrinks up to a point. Okay, so having done this, 
I think I'm pretty much done with uh, the styling on that radial thing. Just uh, style the button a bit better. So, um, just give it a um, background. Can you just do this? Um, okay, um, border none. Okay, no border. Um, use a different color, something lighter. Okay, uh, use some padding. No. Okay. Something like this. Also give it a border radius. Okay, those rounded corners, um, and I want to have a bit of a different uh, style for, um, so, filter. Something like this, and uh, hopper, and focus outline. None and filter none. Uh, now also set here transition uh, and this transition like this. Okay, so something else I want to set cursor pointer. Okay. Okay, now something else I found annoying is that I have the same uh, transition duration, no matter how uh, big the difference between two consecutive percentages are. So let's fix that a little bit. Uh, so here, I'll be using a calc. Um, Okay, so um, here, when I set this, I just, uh, this is going to be the new percentage. So here, new percentage is this uh, randomly generated value, and the old percentage is the value I read style uh, get property volume so on uh, this is going to be like this and uh, the difference actually I don't think uh, just to use uh, this is not going to be a timing difference it's going to be a percentage difference so this is going to be old and the sign doesn't matter so I'm just going to get to the absolute. So like this. So now when I generate two different percentages, 
as you can see, it's a shorter transition duration when they're closer one to the next one. Okay, so uh, this works nicely. Now, something else I want to do here is uh, just uh, make this a bit uh, react in some way when I'm uh, pressing it. So I'll be having an active state. So uh, I'll be wanting to change uh, a bit of the transform and uh, so just to set a factor here which is uh, 0 initially then I'll be switching this uh, factor to 1. Um, I compute a sign that's relative to this factor so it's calc uh, 1 minus uh, twice this factor. Okay so uh, when I set a box shadow um, I use okay that like this and I also want to set transform Translate y calc um, something like this. So let's see. Now, when I click it, as you can see, okay, so um, yeah. This looks nice, and I think I'm going to just uh, leave it at this. I'm not going to uh, try to do anything else, because I think it's it's pretty damn good. And let me show you the fallback in case uh, this doesn't work. So the simplest uh, thing is to just uh, do it like this. Okay, uh, this is not good. So I'm not applying this mask here. I'm only applying it here. So I only apply the mask in this case. And let's also do the situation. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be my no support uh, case. And the support case is as seen earlier. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. Donations are suspended for now, but you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. There will be links in the description. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.